praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. Peace and blessings on the most exalted of prophets. The Mecca Clock Project. of tower number five of the King Abdul Aziz Endowment Project for the two holy harams, about 380 meters above the ground, the biggest tower clock in the world will be built. With a face size of more than 40 meters diameter, it will be visible in all districts of Mecca over a distance of more than eight kilometers. The newly developed clock is a masterpiece of specialized engineering and design. It will be a unique addition to the cityscape of the holy city of Mecca. The clock will be the host of the Mecca time, an independent time signal which will then spread worldwide. measure about 43 by 43 meters. The side clocks measure about 43 by 39 meters. The clock face of Big Ben measures about 7 by 7 meters. Compared to each other, the Mecca clock has more than 30 times the surface area of Big Ben. From the base to the top of the Hilal, the Mecca clock is about 200 meters high. The top of Big Ben is about 35 meters high. The Islamic designed clock house consists of a basement level with a visitor's platform and the clock faces on all four sides of the building. The Hilal measures 23 meters in diameter. It will be the biggest Hilal ever built worldwide. Above the clock, the supreme name of Allah and the Shahada are visible. The facade of the clock consists of the four ornamented edges, the integrated minute indicators, the large hour indicators, and the national emblem of the kingdom. The facade of the clock is made of strong carbon fiber material with special glass ceramics on top. This high-tech material is used in the aerospace industry. Carbon fiber is more than three times stronger than steel. It is very resistant against all climatic conditions and highly durable. The length of the minute arm on the main clock is about 22 meters and the length of the hour arm is about 17 meters. The drive mechanism therefore had to be designed to support the large size and heavy loads of the arms. The minute arm is mounted on a trolley that drives on a steel truss similar to a train on its track. 
The drive mechanism is integrated with the clock face. For maintenance and service, the clock is made fully accessible by catwalks. Hidden lids in the clock face can be opened to gain access to the arms and the LED panels. To guarantee a far-reaching visibility by day and night, a number of scientific tests were made to find out which combination of materials, colors, and lighting techniques is the best. Tests were held during day and night with the result that a black-on-white contrast is favorable at daytime, while a white-on-green contrast works far better for the eye at night. The lighting system of choice is based on LED panels that are durable, strong, and highly adjustable. On the hour, time is announced by an acoustic signal. The signal consists of the tapia, followed by the same number of drum beats as the clock hour. For example, four beats indicate four o'clock. signal can be heard inside the broadcasting and control room. On demand, it will be audible over volume-controlled loudspeakers in the immediate vicinity of the tower. Further, the hour signal will be used on TV and radio. An independently generated time signal, the Mecca time, will control the clock. This is done by a highly precise atomic clock with a signal divergence of about one second over 3,000 years. The atomic clock is the center part of the new planned institute for time in Mecca. It will be hosted in a special room. From there, the time signal will be broadcasted on national and international TV and radio. The Mecca Institute for Time intends to be part of the UTC, Universal Time Coordinated Network, which has its main office in Paris. The Mecca Institute for Time will synchronize its time signal with the 25 other institutes worldwide. Visitors will be able to see the technical instrumentation and learn about the Mecca time. Over a specially developed loudspeaker system, the Afan will be broadcasted from the top of the tower. It can be heard in the range of about 7 kilometers around the building. During Asan, the top of the tower will be lit with randomly sparkling lights. These lights are visible up to 30 kilometers from the tower. This is a visual signal for the start of prayer. It helps the deaf and the people at a far distance from the Haram. During Eid and on special occasions, vertical beacons will project light beams more than 30 kilometers up in the sky. Oh, 